straight cruising Headed for a bruising Watching out for number one You know what? You gotta slow down Look around you, son Today is just today And not tomorrow What's up, everyone? So today we are out in our carport future chicken coop. So we're going to start on this project today. We've got to move all of this hay, clean this out. Hey. Hey. What? Hey. Hey. <laughs> yes, this hay. Hey. <laughs> and then take down those cattle panels that are in the back there. But we've got to actually move the old hog panels first to build a barrier so the pigs can't just come walking through the carport and wander around the yard all willy-nilly. So that's what we have planned for today is phase one. Clean up and get everything ready to start building. So after we've cleaned everything out, I think we'd say it was a pretty good day. We can actually like walk in here now, which is great. We still have to clean up some blackberries. They pretty much destroyed Jesse's shoelace. It's now a pom-pom. But other than that, I think we'll probably put the goats in here with some cattle panels and just let them take care of it this week. 
and all we really have left now is to plan and build this out we plan on doing chickens in here as well as putting our rabbits in here as well so there will be plenty of room in here for all of that the last few weeks we had to move out all of the hay as well as remove all of the scrap metal that was just attached to it in random places and get rid of all of that. It's taken us a little while to get it all done. My awesome husband has been helping me, but he has some major head, neck, shoulder, back, knees and toes, knees and toes injuries. So it works. We work kind of slow, but we keep working. So the plan is to finish cleaning it up, getting rid of all of the thorned blackberries that are back there so they stop wreaking havoc on our shoelaces. We've already had one casualty. My husband's poor shoelace now looks like a pom-pom. And we plan on using the tractor to try to level it. If you can tell, the camera's not crooked, the carport is. It's lower on this side, so we're gonna try, hopefully, to raise it up a little bit just so it's a little bit more even. It's not going to be perfect, we know that. But the overall plan for this is to close in both of the end pieces, have doors on both sides, as well as close in the long end with some scrap tin that we had left over from the ceiling of my office slash soap studio conversion that we converted from a shed. So we have a lot of that left over that we're going to use, and then we're probably just going to use lumber on the ends and then get some screen doors and then the top will all be wire mesh that way there's plenty of ventilation and nothing hopefully will be able to get in so our chickens will be safe and we'll also be putting rabbits in here in the near future so without further ado let's get to some more time lapse we do this every day and i'm still so amazed by you So hold me tight through the night mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's just us two So lucky 
lake Hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun Um, we know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right With you and I, the future is bright So we are almost finished. We gotta do some finishing touches. That'll be in another video. We've got some very loud goats over there. <laughs> but we also have our chicken wire that we're gonna actually put gravel down here. That way it can be predator proofed underneath. We're gonna put some canvas drops over here. So when it rains and in the winter we can drop it down so rain's not getting in, but there's still plenty of ventilation. We've got our latches and then all of this space for the chickens and the ducks and eventually this whole wall right here will be rabbits and then we've got to just build a chicken door right here for the chickens and then to unlatch on each side we just pull this that way we don't get locked in all right, y'all, so that is what I've got for you guys. It took us a lot longer than anticipated to finish this all out, but weather definitely wasn't our friend on this project, but I am loving how it's turning out so far. So be sure to subscribe for when we finish off doing all the finishing touches, as well as finally moving the baby chicks in here because they're getting really big inside the garage. So I'm hoping to be able to get them out here probably in the next week or so, depending on how long it takes us to get the drop cloth and the gravel shipment in as well. So be sure to subscribe for that and give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.